Hello and welcome to another edition of Ag Dealer TV. I'm back on the grounds of the Ag in Motion Farm Show at Langham, Saskatchewan, and I'm standing in front of the Lemkin booth. You'll notice that air drill behind me with the equalizer name on it. That was originally a South African company that was created to build an air drill, and Lemkin has purchased that firm and now wants to bring that air drill to North America. And today I can say that we are also the market leader in South Africa out of a precision planting point of view. Um, okay. So we applied basically the same principles. We yep. have a lot of success with the same um, single pass system that we utilize in, in South Africa in combination with the pre precision planting unit. So this was designed to be a small grains drill right from the start? It was. And for no-till field operations? Absolutely. So tell me about the design of the openers. Like, you know, what, how did, Okay, oh, so, how is placement? Yeah, yeah, so the openers is um, what ma what's making it a little bit unique is it's got a digging ability. We can go down to six inches deep with the time, and then we place the fertilizer behind that time time um, in a in a band, a vertical band. So from from almost the top soil level um, down to to that six inches deep. Um, and behind that, we close that fertilizer up with the tool, and then we place the seed on top of that. And, okay. the, and the wheel will close, this, this, will close the seed again. Okay. So is that depth adjustable then for, for your fertilizer placement? and place it as deep or as shallow as I want? Um, so the tines depth is controlled by the height of the frame. Okay. So the whole frame gets lifts out of the ground um, at, at the headland turn. When you lower it, you you regulate that height, okay. and that height will determine whether you work uh, five inches deep or six inches deep or four inches deep, for that matter. Okay. Uh, so that you can control control by means of uh, um, lowering or, or or lifting the frame. Behind that time, we've got an independent seeding system on a parallel linkage, and the the closing wheel at the back. Is controlling also the seed placement uh, unit. Okay, so seed depth is controlled seed by the wheel. By the wheel. By packing wheel. And you can obviously um, adjust that seed depth by lowering or lifting the, the wheel in relation to the seed boot. Okay. Which basically places the seed. So will this handle canola, small, small seed oh, crop yes. like canola? Oh yes, by all means. Okay. So it's uh, it's handling canola, it's handling wheat, barley, uh, oats, uh, lupins, all, all the, the small grains. Uh, that's now it uses a, an on-frame tank here, right? What's the capacity there? Okay, so this on-frame tank has got a total capacity of 6,100 liters. Um, uh, and I must say, this is a 40 foot machine, which is equipped with this on-frame on tank, but um, it actually calls for a tow between or a tow behind air cart okay. with, with greater capacity. Okay. The reason for this setup is uh, to, to go out and do demonstrations at farmers. Oh, okay. So this isn't necessarily the configuration a farmer would buy? No. Okay. no. So, so this configuration was there for ease of handling, ease of moving about. Okay. So we want to get to as many farmers as possible in the shortest period of time to get first-hand experience of soil conditions and to show what the unit can or may not be able to do. Okay, yes. so, so you want to field trial it for a while? It, absolutely. So that is our main purpose now for this, um, for, for fall, is to, to see whether we can do some field trials. Uh, we bring in some more machines uh, for, for spring ne of next year so we can get a, a, a broader exposure to, to more different soil conditions. So okay. this is a learning process for us. Okay. Um, so if a farmer wants you to come over to his farm, how would he, how would he contact or you arrange that? Yeah, so, so we um, working together with uh, Lemkin Canada, which has an office in, in Canada. Uh, the farmer can contact Lemkin Canada and, and we will arrange from there uh, to whichever dealer um, is more suited for his area. Okay, so this is a 40-foot unit. Uh, is that the only working width that's available, right, or that you plan on making available? Yeah, no, so the 40-foot unit is basically the smaller of, okay. of the lot. 
So we've got a 50 foot, we've got a, a 60 foot and as well as an 80 foot. Okay, so yeah. comparable size to North American manufacturer. Absolutely, absolutely yes. Right. So we offer two row spacings. One is 10 and a half inch and the other is uh, just under 12 inch. Um, we work on metric 300 millimeters mm. and that's why it's just sure. under the 12 inch. Sure. Um, yeah, uh, what is unique on, on, on our drills is our metering systems on the on-frame hopper, but also the air cards. So we've got a self-cleaning metering roller and um, with a brush on it, very unique uh, um, shape of roller that's, that's, that's got pintles on it. And this brush is constantly cleaning that metering roller. So the, the shape of that doesn't change over time with, with bold up of fertilizer specifically. So out of a consistency point of view, you will go far to find anything better than that. Okay. Durability, um, everything is made of stainless steel. The casing of that metering unit, um, the roller is, is polyurethane. So its, it's long liberty is, is, is exceptional. So horsepower requirements are comparable to any other drill on the market or how would you rate that? Um, horsepower requirement will be a little bit higher than uh, I'm going to uh, we use a term called a scratcher or a digger hmm. and and we want to call ourselves a digger right because you are placing deep uh, we, we can deeper. go deeper in so right. all of the other not all of the other manufacturers but most was very successful with scratching a little bit shallower is uh, obviously requiring less horsepower right but i would say we might be 20 Twenty percent more than what the scratches are calling okay. for. So, assuming everything goes to plan on your field trials, this will be available through Lemkin dealers in, in, in probably twenty four. Uh, yeah. So twenty four is going to be limited number still, uh, but we're looking forward to twenty five if everything goes according to plan. We we foresee that we might have to make some modifications. Um, uh, to to better handle the heavy stuff, the heavy clay soils, okay. like stuff. And manufacturing will still take place in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. So we are very competitive out of a manufacturing point of view. We've got a world class facility um, in in a factory that uh, only manufactures equalizer implements today. And that's also unique from equalizer is we are very focused on seeding and planting equipment. We don't um, develop anything else. We've got a strong development team, a team of 16 designers that's full-time busy with equalizer design and development. And we've got a philosophy of constant improvement, um, which has made our machines great over time. So this is, this is a mature product that's, that's been in the market for, for the better part of 25 years almost. So we, we're very lucky to have it where it is. It's very durable, um, it's hard wearing, and, and it's precise. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to, to tackle this market and um, see what it, where we can take it from here. Well, that's it for another edition of Ag Dealer TV. If you want to contact Lemkin and have the, equal, the Equalizer drill come to your farm, contact your local Lemkin dealer or check out uh, Lemkin's Canadian website. Thanks for watching.